welcome to lesson number 21. Um, today is a pretty normal lesson. Um, we've got a few songs, a little bit of work to do in our theory book, and a bunch of chords again. We're still working with our chords. And then at the very end, we're going to finish up our Star Wars song and learn the rest of it. So it should be pretty fun, and I hope it goes well. Today in our theory book, we're starting on page 38. Um, and this is something that you're just going to be able to do on your own. Not really, you don't really need my help. <laughs> you're gonna be able to do it fine. You're just matching these to where the, to what chord progression it follows, okay? So um, watch this, key of C, key and G, that does make a difference. So if you look here on my first one, we're in the key of C. I've got first, 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 seventh, seventh, first. So first, first, five, seven, five, seven, first, okay? So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna match those up, not too hard. And then here I've got another one of these songs where I'm going to write in which chord sounds the best. I'm in the key of G and I'm going to be writing those down at the bottom. So the first thing you're going to want to do is play the melody through. And it's pretty famous. Sorry, F sharp in there. Make sure you have your F sharp. Crossover. Okay. And then you're going to copy the next measure. You're going to write in those notes, um, same as this, okay? And then finish it up down here. Okay, so, and then you'll write in all of your chords down below and then play it, play it through. So I'll give you just a little example, just in case you need some help. But if you, if you don't need the help, just do it on your own. <laughs> All right. Or I could do, I think that sounds best. Hopefully that works out. If you come up with something just a little bit different, if you want to put in a different type of a sound somewhere, that's probably okay. Just make sure it sounds right, okay? All right. Our technique book today, we're doing some um, just kind of arpeggios. <laughs> There's just a bunch of arpeggios through here. So I'm going to have my G chord left hand right hand left over left hand right hand left over okay loud quiet loud quiet okay it's kind of an echoing song quiet okay you're building up it's really just your chord broken chords all over the place <laughs> the place okay so i'll give you the example of this song All right, and it's going to start, we're in the key of G, so just remember that if you have any F sharps, um, Fs are all F sharps, okay? So my damper pedal is down, and I'm starting loud. Swapping again, so you gotta just watch where your hands are supposed to go. And then, low G, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, all right, so that one's not too bad, and just a lot of arpeggios. On to our lesson book, page 54 and 55. Um, again, we're working with 1st, 4th, and 5th, 7th chords, so it just does a little review up there for you. We're still in the key of G. Um, so the only thing in here you're going to want to watch is your timing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 
One rest, two, three rest. One, two, three. Da da da. Okay. Um. Wait. Is there anything else in here that you really need to know about? Lots of staccato, so legato into the staccato. Da 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 dun dun dun. Okay. Um. Down here we have staccatos in our bass. Our yeah, our bass clef. And lots of chords and some dynamics getting louder. Mostly this song is mostly loud because it's a march. So, and then watch for your accidentals. You have a few B flats through there. Um, all your Fs are sharped because of its key of G. So, here is the example. So the timing in there, timing is a little tough, but you can do it. Sorry, it's hard for me to count at the same time as I was playing for a second. <laughs> All right. Then, last but not least, our performance book. Before we finish up our, our Star Wars, we've got Everybody Loves Saturday Night. Um, this has a teacher duet that goes along with it. So let's talk through a few things. Um, we've got... Our, again, our chords on the bottom, um, first, five, seventh. We've got a few accidentals in here. Now your left hand, you've got a uh, crossover with your thumb. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so your timing in here is tricky too. So um, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, and, okay, so, that part right there, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, you're going to have that a bunch. So go ahead and stick your finger on the G, and let's play this together. I want you to count out loud with me. One, two, ready, go. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Okay, so did you get that? One. Two and three and four and one, two and rest. Uh, da, da. Okay, all right. So that's the trickiest part of all of all of this. Down here, it's the same rhythm. One, two and three and four and one, two and three and four, one. Okay, all right. So just listen for your timing. Watch your timing. And count out loud, that helps a lot, okay? So, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three. This one has a teacher duet, so let's go ahead and do that. You're going to come in after four beats. And here we go. But it's pretty fast, just so you know. One, two, ready, go.
so that's a really fun one. Um, just get that practiced up. The reason why the teacher duets are so fast these days, and I think I've told you this before, is right here on your music, you have a metronome beat. And so um, they're pretty quick. They have you play in pretty fast. So hopefully you're, you're moving along just well enough that it's not too hard for you to play a little bit faster. So, okay. The last thing that we're gonna do is finish up our Star Wars song. We started last time, ready? part. Okay, so I hope I can do this well. I'm going to give you the melody line first, and I hope that you will recognize it and be able to hear it as well. Okay, I'm going to go up to that F. And that repeats. slow it down, break it down a little bit. So with that, this part, let's do our chords. for fun. If you want to do it, go for it. Um, it's really great ear training to try to figure out where you're. And if you don't want to use my video and you want to just use your own ears to try to figure out the melody line, if you know the melody really well, then go for it. It's, it's a good way to um, train your ears to hear and your fingers to play. So, all right. Hope you have a good week, good practicing, and we'll talk to you later.